Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark for our special, extra special Friday stream. And I am super excited. I did want to watch this video, this new fast food Friday from Everyday Miriam. I didn't want to watch it alone. So I thought I would come on and watch it with you guys. We also have an update on Kate Middleton that I'm sure a lot of guys, a lot of you guys are talking about and discussing right now. So we will discuss that top of the show for sure. It's uh, some sad news. But let me go ahead and say hi to everyone that is arriving here in the side chat. How are you guys doing this Friday night? There goes the mail truck. I was wondering why there was so many like flashing lights. I always get so distracted. I should just close the window. A. Eh? What's going on? Happy Friday. How are you doing? I was going to go live like late, late, late and do like a late night, another late night with Alex's Shook, but I tried that last week and I got really, really tired. So I didn't want to come on. <laughs> I didn't want to come on at 10 o'clock. So I just thought let's hop on now. I wanted to do a live stream today. So let's do it. Let's do it. I really want to get this midweek in. It just is like something happens and the midweek doesn't work out on Wednesday or Thursday. So I wanted to do, I was going to go live Thursday, but then I was like, no, let me do a reaction because I hang out with my friend um, until like we hang out till like eight o'clock. So I could go on after that, but kind of just wanted my evening to be a little... A little just relax, you know, last night. Anyways, <laughs> we're locked in for Sunday. Maybe Fridays. Maybe we'll just do Fridays. I don't know, because Fridays seem to work out for me this time, but maybe a little bit earlier, like 12 or something. But then we'd have to change the title of the live stream. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You guys know me. Very sporadic. <laughs> and girl world, like you never know what's going to happen. And some things are just better covered in a video, I think. Messy Mikey, thank you for being a member for 17 months. OG, happy Friday. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome in. Welcome in. Did you guys see this? Um, so we're going to look at Everyday Miriam Fast Food Fridays. Are you effing kidding me? You just got to Target? Yes. Well... Why you live? Why you living? Are you gonna listen to me while you shop? That's what I would. That's what I always do. You know what I'm saying? How long am I gonna go live? Probably like two hours or so. You like the grays? I kind of like put some of my, some of my, tanner gets into the grays and it looks like a very light brown. <laughs> But kind of muddy. I don't know. It's not something that I'm like trying to do, but it just kind of happens. I need a haircut because I hate the poofs on the side. Like that needs to go. That needs to go. Can you please put the maroon shirt back on? I'm scared. <laughs> Welcome, Momo. Yes. Did you like that little intro? I was just noticing that looking through my thumbnails, Every single video is like a maroon shirt. And I have like at least five maroon shirts, some sweatshirts, some t-shirts, some Henleys. I just really like maroon. I feel like that's my color. But I was thinking maybe it's a little bit too much. Maybe I should wear a little less maroon. I don't know. I don't want people to think I'm wearing like the same thing every day. I do wash. Like, I don't wear the same shirt two days, not even two days in a row. Although sometimes I'll, like, keep a sweater. Like, I'm not, like, I'll wear a sweater. And then if it's not dirty at the end of the day, I'm not going to wash it again. But, like, a t-shirt, yes, I will wash it. No matter what. I don't know why. But I just, that's my thinking. I mean, sweatshirts, I feel like you don't have to wash them every single time. I'm hot in the maroon. Thank you. <laughs> Scissor Sister, thank you for being a member for 18 months. Got the part for a lead in a music video. Love ya. Oh my gosh. Scissor Sister, congratulations to you. I would love to see it when it drops. Are they going to drop it on the YouTube? 
Yes, congrats. That's awesome. Making some big moves in 2024. We love to see it. One girl to another. You wash your jeans twice a year. Girl, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Like, I'll keep a pair of jeans. Like, maybe I'll I'll wear them like twice. Maybe a cheeky third time, but usually not even. You know that a baya like is caked in grease and sweat and BO and it just, ooh. Do they have a laundry machine in the unit? I don't know. I feel like they do, right? Yeah, it's like in the kitchen. Yeah, it's like in the kitchen. They do have a laundry machine in the unit, Chantal. Or should I call her Miriam now? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Should we retire Foodie Beauty? I mean, I still title all my Miriam videos like Foodie or Foodie Beauty. I don't title them Miriam because I feel like nobody, I don't know, people remember. If it's someone like coming back, like maybe they left the community for a while. They don't know who the fuck Miriam is. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, what? Maybe they just wanted to get the tea real quick and they left for a little bit. You know what I mean? Anyways, Miriam's like dumb. So, did you guys see Becky's new girlfriend, Chantal Period? Oh, yeah, remember that? She was Chantal Period. Beck's new girlfriend, OMG. That was wild. Where's my phone? Oh, oh. Did you guys see her? Let me just do, I'll just hold my phone up to the camera because I'm lazy like that. No, we can just airdrop it. Is that going to work? My airdrop has been like acting up for some reason. I was trying to airdrop my video to my phone yesterday so that I could watch it before I put it up because, um, you know, it's, Probably a good idea to watch your video in full before it goes up. <laughs> but I couldn't get it to freaking work. So I only ended up watching like 10 minutes of it. And then I had to go to dinner with my friend. We went to a diner, a local diner. It was yummy. I had French toast. It was so good. So this is from Apathetic Facts. And it is Beck. So she changed her name to back on Facebook, like just back. So it's like official in a relationship with blank, blank, blank. So it's blanking out, but that is her new girlfriend. She kind of looks like a skinny Saji to me. Is that like rude? I don't know. But in a good way, I wonder how Sean, I wonder what Amber is thinking, right? <laughs> She's going to be really upset about this. But even if she is, you know exactly what she's going to say when she comes on and it, when people ask her, like, what she thinks about it. I just want the best for Beck. Like, I could care less. I could, I really just don't even care. Like, no. <laughs> so that happened on March 3rd. So that was a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but it's not like breaking news. I don't really check for Beck like that. Like, I will check Beck's, I think I follow back on Instagram, kind of good, kind of bad art, but I'm not even totally sure. Just her YouTube channel, which is what, kind of good, kind of back, <laughs> which is what, <laughs> girl, foodies drain rat. Thank you for being a member for 11 months. Oh, gee, I know what Amber's thinking. Yeah, she's like, oh, no, I wanted Beck to be miserable for the rest of their life. <laughs> and now that's not happening. You know that Amber was kind of relishing in the fact that Becky was just not doing well. And now that she, you know, that she's bitter, that Beck is, you know, it seems moving on with her life and doing good things. I mean... She's making that money. She's working a lot and she's got a new boo. So I'm feeling it. Congratulations to back. Moving on. Our favorite side character. She's moving on. 
with her life. Why is it hailing in English England right now? Is it hailing? Oh, it's really late over there, huh? Like 11 p.m. That's not like super late, but. Um, I'm just checking the weather because I heard it was, we have a flood watch. Oh, so it's going to start raining at 1 a.m., but it's a flood watch. Oh, it's raining from 1 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. That's annoying. I hate going out on Saturdays anyway. Like, although I should probably get out of the house. <laughs> I've been staying in a little too much. I did get out yesterday. Got um, dinner with my friend, like I said. But yeah, I don't like going out on Saturdays because the traffic is usually horrible around like 1 p.m. Ugh. Just You just want to go out and get a coffee and it's like 45 minutes to go a mile down the street, wait in that long ass line. No, I'm not doing it. Give me a Keurig K-cup, please. Make me a BLT sandwich, please. Make me a BLT sandwich. Shut up. <laughs> you guys know that one. I feel like that's a little bit niche. Not everyone might know that one, but I should add that as a sound bite. Make me a BLT sandwich. Actually, for real, I should. Snowing in Wisconsin. Yeah, I thought the groundhog was right. So I was like giving this groundhog all the accolades in the world because it was so warm like last week for like two days. I was like, go groundhog, go groundhog. Spring is here because it was six weeks after um, he predicted it. Well, now it's freezing cold again. Maybe not freezing, but <laughs> cold AF. Like the other day, it was like two days ago, I went grocery shopping. It was so windy. Like my face was literally hurting. I needed my like all over face mask. Snowing in Chicago? Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> but I was like rushing into my car because I had to escape the wind. It was like that bad. I could have got like hypothermia if I was out there for 20 minutes. But luckily, all I had to do was just run to my car. <laughs> I was tempted with those donuts, the $1.65 donuts. So did you guys see? Let's talk about this real quick because we did discuss it last week. And that is the case of Kate Middleton and her disappearance. Uh, people have been speculating, I feel like for months now, what happened to Kate Middleton. She was out of the public eye. People were, you know, suspecting that, uh, well, she was saying she was recovering from surgery, which she was, she was. But um, yeah, people were just wondering where she was. She put out that Photoshopped picture and that caused even more speculation. Well, just today, just today, Kate Middleton came out. And she posted a video, I believe, to Twitter, or it was posted all over Twitter slash X, X, formerly known as Twitter. And what happened is she was actually diagnosed with cancer. So it's a very sad situation, a lot going on in that family right now. But, you know, people have been making jokes and, you know, I got in on the speculation. So now I'm feeling kind of bad because here the whole time she was dealing with cancer. So she initially got her surgery mm -hmm, and King and Charles has cancer at the same time, King Charles, but, um, she had her surgery and they thought that it was non-cancerous, like what they were removing from her body. I need to do a little bit more research because I'm not exactly sure what kind of surgery she had. I believe it was abdominal, ab abdominal, ab you know, <laughs> but at the end of the surgery, after the surgery, they did more tests and they found out that it was cancer. So that's what happened with Kate Middleton, a kind of sad ending to the arc because people were going really crazy the tabloids and stuff like that everyone was just wondering like 
what happened to her? What happened to her? I know there was a lot of people saying that uh, William was cheating. I wonder what those people are like thinking now. Um, but that is the kind of the end of that arc. Kate Middleton came back. And she looked she looked OK, like she looked like she she said that she's recovering and she's getting she's um, gaining strength every day. So I believe she's going to make it. So it sucks. Yeah, cancer sucks. I mean, I lost um, I lost my dad when I was 17. Both of my parents had cancer. So that was like really just a lot at one time, 16 from 16 to 17. Yeah. And my mom did go into remission, but my dad didn't. Okay, guys, let's move on to something a little bit more lighter. And that is every day, Miriam, the title of the live stream. Are you effing kidding me? Because she posted, I watched like a minute of it. And then I was like, I want to watch this with you guys because this is completely ridiculous. And this one is called Triple Cheeseburger and Volcano Fries Mukbang. Let's go and look at her channel. It looks like she's live right now, but, you know, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's talking about her rap degree. Let's peek in for like a second. Pita chips, yes. Yeah, I don't want to do it. How you been? I can combine it into a super black. Yeah. That's a sad, sad state of affairs. So we're going to go ahead and watch the video. I don't really care about her live streams anymore, to be honest. Like, I just focus on her videos because she doesn't, like, do anything in them anymore. Unless she's raging, I don't care. You know, if she's raging, sure, maybe. Which it does happen still. That makes you even more of a sociopath, so. So, okay. <laughs> All right, let's turn it down like Hi, a little. Hi, welcome back to another video. Everyday Miriam, let's skip the cameo. It's worse than ever. I just can't get through that cameo, right? Everyday Beezin. Oh my goodness, I just can't with her check mark now. So if, say, YouTube did one of their little scrubs, you know how every now and again YouTube will delete a lot of bot accounts and people will lose, like, even if you're, like, straight and narrow, like, you never have bought anything, people will still lose, like, a couple hundred. Now, if you bought them, you'll lose, like, a few thousand, right? So what if they do one of their little cleanups? And she loses and goes below a hundred. Will they take away her check mark? What if they just came and like took the plaque back? <laughs> I know that can't happen, but <laughs> we're taking back the plaque. I would die. Well, hello there. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. My beady eyed self here about to have a mukbang for you. Let's call this fast food Friday, even though in that case, most days are Friday for me, but. What the heck is she doing here? Fast food Friday. But then she admits every day is Friday. So she's behind the scenes, what, eating fast food every day? I mean, that's basically what she just admitted there. Not that anyone's surprised by that. She cooks. I bet you what she what she cooks is what we see. You know, and we don't see much cooking content. We do a little bit, but we don't see much of it. That's all she does. Because when she cooks, she realizes, let me just use this for content too. But I wonder, um, why doesn't she do more mukbangs then? <clears throat> if she's ready to just throw in the towel and eat fast food every day, why not just do it on camera? Make a little coinage. I mean, that's her, that's... Easy, easy money for her. Marvin, thank you for being a member for 18 months. Hi, Boo, listening to you in the background while I work. Thank you, Marvin. I hope work goes swimmingly for you. She never anyway. sees the sunlight. She looks rough. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I don't like the cooking videos Thank either. The, the cooking videos are probably her worst, most boring videos. <laughs> but this is just a spectacle. She's making Let a spectacle out of herself. But you know what? I cooked yesterday. I didn't film it into a video. I don't really have a lot going on in my life. So I don't know what's going to happen with my channel, but... Oh my gosh, she has nothing going on in her life, so she doesn't know what's going on with her channel. Girl, did that stop you any other time? I mean, is that why she's introducing the mukbangs back? I mean, not that they didn't go anywhere, but not that they went anywhere, but it just seems like she did pull back a little bit because when was the last one? Seven days ago, yeah. Oh no, that was a vlog. Um, Nine days ago. Yeah, she. it's safe to say she pulled back a little bit. So we're back mukbangs in full force because she's got nothing going on. Nothing. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Ooh. I wanted like a triple burger, so I got a triple burger. All right, now this. A triple? Damn. Have you guys ever had like the Dave's quadruple? I always see that and like I want to try it someday, but I never really go above a double. I'm not a triple girly. Like, that's a little too much. And those look like big burger patties. Like, those aren't Wendy's. We're not at Wendy's anymore. Is, I think it's called Sobia. It's these drinks, popular drinks that they make during Ramadan with like, this has like vanilla, coconut. Okay, yum. It's really delicious. So I'm going to have some. I found this restaurant. I don't know why I was like looking up Kuwait on Google Maps. I just love looking at Google Maps for some reason. I don't know. I look all over the U.S. and all over the world, really. And I was looking at Kuwait City and I found this place that was like crab and lobster and burgers. It was like crab and burgers. It looked so good. It was like bougie crab and burgers. And we also have a bottle of this stuff for Ramadan. I forget what it's called. What is that? Note. It's really good though. It looks like grape juice. Is that like a grape? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what it is. Okay, Bismillah. I want some now of this. Yeah, like like a McDouble. That's like. I feel like two McDonald's patties is like one regular patty. I don't know. You know what I? Mean? Totally is. They're so thin. Hmm. You like looking at maps, everything? I'm always looking at maps. It's like grape juice to me. Seeing where I want to travel now. That's also they drink it. Very popular during Ramadan. Okay, so these fries. I don't even know what's on them. Jalapenos, onions, ground meat. She almost seems a little bit embarrassed to be doing this video, but she has resigned herself that this is all she has. I mean, she admitted as such. Is it like, has she gotten to the point of hungry fat chick? Uh, beef bacon cheese and some kind of spicy sauce yeah here we go yeah it is a triple she's burger like, she's such a glutton <gasps> the epitome <laughs> of gluttony they're called volcano fries they're pretty good i like the thick cut like the steak fries oh dang it was like a quarter of that disappeared in like 10 seconds damn i don't like those skinny <laughs> straw fries like I just find they get too cold and like, like a hard McDonald's fries. fry. Okay, I've never had. I don't know if I've ever eaten a triple burger. Let's see. I don't know what kind of fries I like. Um, Five Guys Cajun fries. Those are my favorite fries. They're kind of in between. They're not skinny like McDonald's. They're not super thick. They're like perfect. And when they cook them right and put that Cajun seasoning, mm 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 mm. I've been craving fast food fries. Oh. I want those so bad. I haven't caved though. Just get the fries and no burger, right? I just had a burger. So I just want the fries. <laughs> my grandma made burgers. Wait, how am I going to dislocate my jaw? How am I going to dislocate my jaw? Mm. See, that's what she does. She like unhinges. People said that as a joke. Yes, I will still be doing a Sunday stream. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Sunday will never... Unless I'm really sick, Sunday will always be happening. 
unless I'm unless I'm really sick or on vacation with family. Otherwise, I if I'm on vacation alone, I'll still go live. I mean, <laughs> greasy and cheesy. Breezy. <clears throat> Oh, she's a snake. Okay. I was wondering why you said snake and then I like put two and two together. Unhinging her jaw, right? Let's try this here. They didn't, it doesn't seem like they gave her Hold too up. many fries. Is that just me or is that portion kind of small? <laughs> <laughs> that's the American in me. That's a decent portion, but I would be like, depending on the price, I would be like, where's the fries? Just greasing today. Yeah, I don't have anything <laughs> to talk about. Oh, she has Nora's nothing. I'm super for. Oh my gosh, I have nothing to talk about. Wow. That's when I say when she says she's keeping things private, she's not. She just, there is nothing to keep private. There's nothing going on. Her and Salah barely have a relationship anymore. He's in the other room. She eats. Um, she doesn't always feel like filming, but she's eating that fast food anyway. I saw the trailer for Beetlejuice too. Great. It's actually happening. Is it really? I mean, that was so long ago, right? It's interesting when they do like a sequel so far in the future. I don't think I've ever actually seen the original Beetlejuice. Maybe when I was a kid, but I don't remember it. I did see Beetlejuice live, though. If you guys ever went to Universal or maybe it was Disney World. Either one, one of them did like Beetlejuice Live. Let me know if you've ever seen that Beetlejuice Live. It's like a That's 30 like minute show. Meat. That's big. Anyway, that shit is bonkers. Jenna Ortega, isn't it? Really? Lydia, the um, Winona Ryder. Okay, uh, Jenna Ortega is like our new horror queen. Living. And Michael Keaton. It's too big to eat like all at once. So I'm going to eat it like this. Don't hate me. Yeah, Michael Keaton. That's the original okay. one, right? The tra way. trailer is just a teaser. Alec Baldwin's character is... Okay. Also has Catherine... Has like most of the original cast. Wait, Alec Baldwin, he's not in it, right? Because of the lawsuit and stuff that happened with Rust. Did you guys see that? The movie Rust and the Alec Baldwin... He's on trial. I don't want to get into it, but if you know, you know. That looks like Beetlejuice is back to bees. Big? Are you calling me big? Yeah, the bacon yeah, here that is made with like beef big. mostly. Or turkey. She had to cut it, or like, she had to like separate it so she could fit it in her mouth. Girl, isn't that enough of a wake up call? Why would she get a triple? That's not intuitive. <laughs> At the Wendy's here, the Baconator's called the beef Beefinator. <laughs> you can have an intuitive burger, but it would just be one patty. You know, satisfy that craving so it's not on your mind all the time. But no, I don't think a triple is intuitive. <laughs> so yeah. Gluttony. I haven't had beef in a while. Even the meatloaf I made yesterday. Was made with chicken. <laughs> yeah, Alec Baldwin has anger issues. I took two chicken breasts. Two patty minimum. And ground them in a food processor. What? Why? Really good. Wait. Why did she grind chicken? I took two chicken breasts and ground them in a food processor. It was really good. 
Wait, why? Did you guys see uh, Nick Avocado Avocado? He put up a short video, a YouTube short, where he's sticking all this like McDonald's trash, I think. Like not trash, but like half eaten food in a blender. He blends it all up and then eats it or drinks it. <sighs> Has she just giving up? You've been on a foodie break. Has she just given up trying to fix the beatus? Yeah, this is her throwing in the towel. I mean, she hasn't even really talked about it at all. And that's what she's kind of betting on, that she, as long as she doesn't talk about it, people will kind of forget about it and she can continue to do her mukbangs. That's what she bets on. 110%. Mm. Was that a challenge? Was it? To grind up your food? Ew. Ooh, spicy. We did, we just, I was just really Let busy yesterday. Queen. And on top of that, I was like, you know what? You just want a day to yourself. We just wanted a day of like, to ourselves. <laughs> Not being on camera. I think I'll definitely have more days like that. <laughs> a day to themselves, not be on camera. I should... Their day to themselves was her sitting in the other room, ordering gosh knows what, and just looking at TikTok all day while he was in the other room playing a video game. It's kind of sad that he blew up his YouTube career. <laughs> He was starting to get views talking shit. Like, he was starting to get, like, 2,000 views a video talking shit about Gorlick and Yo Mama and whomever. Change my name to Every Other Day, Miriam. Every Other Day, Miriam. Oh, she's too lazy now? Girl, you can't afford to post Every Other Day. You're not Amberlynn, sweetheart. You don't have it like that. Amber's got that cushion. She's got nothing. So I'm super stoked. I think it's September. It's coming out. I'm going on a diet, right? She's on a diet, guy. Right. This is great. I can't believe this. I saw this. Uh, I like saw the first minute of it when I got the notification. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, we're really, this is where we're at again. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. Amber's on a weight loss journey. And Foodie's eating triple cheeseburgers. I literally cannot wait. Did someone request this? Do you guys think this was requested by somebody? I'm looking skinty. You think so? I'm not sure if I should go <laughs> the first week. It'll be so packed. I'm actually 162. I weighed myself today. 162. We're like a few bowel movements away from the 150s, guys. Super exciting. It's hard. Like I said, it's difficult. Once you get down lower, it gets harder and harder. But. Do the salsa, salsa. <clears throat> Fiesta, salsa, quinceanera, baila. Yeah. I love that. Fiesta, salsa, quinceanera, baila. Con sonri. Sonri. That means smile. I hope it comes here. I hope it comes here. Yeah, like sometimes they won't show certain movies in Kuwait because, I don't know, some sort of moral... For certain moral reasons, they don't want to show certain movies in Kuwait. Wasn't Barbie banned or something? The Barbie ban? I think like anything with a transgender character is like banned in Kuwait. Like GTA 5 is banned in Kuwait. Cyberpunk is banned in Kuwait. Those are really good games. Other than that, 
My life is pretty uneventful. Is that? I just haven't been in the mood to. Nothing going on. This is great. <laughs> Why do I like this more than when she has something to talk about? It's just kind of funny that she's got nothing to talk about. To film. Like, no motivation. In Saudi Arabia, they banned Barbie as well. Did they ban Barbie in Kuwait or just Saudi Arabia? <sighs> like, probably both. Like up the stream or Chantal will eat your next dinner. <laughs> Thank you, Panic. Yeah, let's get some likes on the stream. Yep, um, Salah was playing GTA 5. Yeah, I mean, because they have the internet, like you can have access to a lot of things. Like, I don't think they have a great firewall. Like China has the great firewall, which bans like so many websites unless you just get a VPN, right? But I think using a VPN is not necessarily legal in China. So I don't know if Salah has a VPN or if there is a firewall. But yeah, you can access all that stuff on the internet. Like you can watch Barbie, whatever, whatever. You can watch uh, adult stuff, wink, wink, and play GTA 5. Water. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. Not my curry. The burgers taste grilled. I haven't had a real good grilled burger in a long time. Adult Hub. Yeah, aren't they coming after Adult Hub? <laughs> like, it's banned in a couple of states. Yeah, in a few states, it's banned. Yeah, Texas... But it's not just Texas, it's Virginia as well, I think. They didn't ban it in Virginia, but uh, you can't go on it in Virginia. Like, because I had my, my VPN was... <laughs> no, I just admitted I went on it. <laughs> my VPN was set to Virginia and it wouldn't let me on. <laughs> but I've actually really... Um... I really, really, really cut down. <laughs> it was one of my resolutions, actually. It tastes like, um... Not that I ever watched a ton. Up. Like on the barbecue? Like... At my mom? There's people that, like, watch that all day. Now, that's a problem. When I lived there, we would always barbecue. Usually like a mix of burgers, hot dogs, chicken breast. Yeah, it's just like any other thing. I mean, use too much. It can mess with your brain. Like it really can. Um, Foodies Drain Rat, thank you for the super. I miss the days when she'd come on with the wig and lingerie. Lingerie, just to rage at Natter and Didi. Yes, those were the days, huh? I said on Twitter, I'm pretty sure you saw that. Um, what if, or it's payday, is Chantal going to go pick up Natter and blow through all their money and they'll be fighting by Tuesday? <laughs> I love that. I miss that. I miss that. She has to miss like running around Canada like, when that paycheck hit and she could run around Canada, do whatever she wants, buy whatever she wants. Um, she really had it good in like 2021, 2022. All she had to do was like live stream all day. And she she could pretty much go out and buy whatever she wanted. Schmedibles, new clothes, food, all the food in the world. Now, I don't think Salah lets her buy like even more abayas like she desperately needs more clothes and i don't think salah is letting her like you have clothes at home you have clothes at home i think he keeps the strings i think he keeps it really tight i really do i think that he really is controlling her um and that's something she's not willing to admit to the camera it's much more than we think Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tiffany Brown, welcome to Shookers. Welcome. 
Did I see Yellow Jackets? Yes. The new season isn't till 2025, which makes me upset. But Yellow Jackets is my favorite show. Number one right now, at least that's still like on. If you've never had corn on the cob grilled on the on the barbecue. Yeah, Salah is pinching pennies. Summer. <sighs> corn on the cob. Yeah, get like a lote. Is that what it's called? I got that at the fair. I need to go to the go to the fair just to eat like a lote all night. Me and my cousin, <laughs> we would go to the fair and just like eat the whole night. I mean, that's what all the adults there do, right? You just go from like eating station to eating station. <laughs> get a little bit of this. Like I didn't get like a full meal. I just got like a little bit everywhere all night. Uh, it was amazing. Go to the fair. Let yourself have that day. The fair is only in town once a year. Tiffany Brown. Thank you for being a member for 12 months. Oh, gee, it's my birthday and my one year sub anniversary. Happy birthday, Tiffany. And thank you so much for the support. Um, yeah, have a great weekend. Birthday weekend. Live it up, girl. Fair food is the best worst thing. <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. I had a lote, funnel cake. What else did I have? Uh, maybe like I usually get fried veggies, deep fried vegetables. So good. <laughs> I've had uh, the Oreo, the deep fried Oreo before. Um, that one's not my favorite. It's good, but I'd rather have a funnel cake. It's overpriced. It is. It's getting up there now, huh? Every year they up the prices. But I think I only spent like $25 and I ate all night. So it's not too bad. <laughs> My mom would make her salads like potato salad, macaroni. Ate all night. Turkey leg. Or linguine salad. Has like linguine and like a salad supreme spice seasoning. All she has to talk about is food and not even like recent relevant food. It's food from when she was in Canada, girls. Canada. With Italian dressing. Yikes, cities on bike titties. I look bright and happy today. Thank you. I've been kind of up and down lately, guys. Like, I feel better this week, but I feel like the past two weeks, I, I could feel like shit tomorrow. You know, I don't know what it is, but I'm kind of up and down lately. So I felt like, let me harness this energy and get on the live stream. Because if I wait till tonight, I'll probably be tired or like not happy. <laughs> let me harness this in energy. In the fridge overnight. It's so good. Everyone requests that she makes that. If we go to like, if we would go somewhere like to an event, like a baby shower or something. Highly, highly requested. Mm. I think this has tamarind in it, but I can't taste it. It tastes like grape juice. Cadbury mini eggs. Eggs? I like the Cadbury eggs. My mom, um, she hates Cadbury eggs, but she makes really good peanut butter eggs and the coconut eggs, but I don't really eat the coconut eggs. I just love the peanut butter ones. Eilish Pudney. Thank you for the super um, chat. Welcome in. Welcome. Lots of rain tomorrow. Not good for the mental health. Nope. Although I kind of like the coziness of rain. If I put on that uh, candle warmer, mm -mm -mm. get yourself a candle warmer. It uh, keeps the Bath and Body Works candles for so much longer. Like I'm never burning a candle ever again. It keeps it so much longer. Are we going to check in on candy? We can. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that. Let's check in on candy. Egg eggs, button. eggs, eggs. Yes. Peanut butter, eggs. We need to add that new egg soundbite if you watched yesterday's reaction. Eggs, too. What was the other soundbite I was going to do? I said it earlier. Why did I forget already? It was a BLT sandwich. If I can find that. We need to do those two sound bites. Like those are necessary. Shook afternoon. I was thinking about calling the stream Shook Afternoon, but I was like, 
it's not afternoon anymore, but it's not after dark either. So then I was like, well, it'll be after dark by the by the time I'm like an hour into the stream because the sun's going down right now. So <laughs> let's just go with after dark. It's after dark now. Almost in like 10 minutes. Krabby Joe, welcome to Shookers. Welcome. Your chat didn't send. We'll just um, type it in the chat. I'll see if I can see it. Quick, quick. Shook Swore. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. That's it, folks. Oh, uh, where's the new? Oh, is that what you said? Where's the new eggs amber sound from the latest video? <laughs> yeah, we have to do that. We have to do that. I put it on the list. I have a sound bites list. Anybody have any recommendations for sound bites? I love a good sound bite moment. I should do like my own sound bites. I'm going to add some of my own, huh? How's about that? Got it, get it, good. Got it, get it, good. Got it, get it, good. Should I order a $15 Diet Coke? <laughs> Should I pay $15 for a Diet Coke? No. Do not pay $15 for a Diet Coke. That's a complete ripoff. What else is going on with Miriam? Nothing, right? That was it. So she posted that, um, we already talked about these. I feel like that, um, if you want to get caught up on foodie after this live stream, you can watch my latest girl talk on foodie, which is pretty much ca catching you up to everything recently. There's not much except for like, she's raging during Ramadan. Oh, this video was completely ridiculous. I almost forgot about that. I was still thinking about that yesterday when she came on and she said, I'm going to do whatever I want. Like in regards to practicing Islam and being a Muslim, she's going to do whatever she wants. And like, don't judge her because it's, it's my way. I'm doing what I want. And I just thought it was completely ridiculous. Probably one of the most ridiculous videos she's done in a while. And that's the thing. She wants these new Muslim viewers that are going to be kind to her, but they see what everybody else sees. A glutton, lazy, mean, spirited, nasty. So I don't know what exactly she expected. And then going off in that video did not help her case. I mean... I'm sure a couple of those people turned on her just from seeing that video. So it's it's the cycle. It's who she is. I mean, she's going to turn off any new newbies. Islam my way. Right? I mean, that's not a thing, girl. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't the West, sweetheart. Like, you live in Kuwait. Mental things are scary for real, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's everything they're against. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this arc. I don't really see this arc going on for much longer. It really can't. But I do see Salah, like, how long is she going to let Salah control her life? I think that's what it comes down to. Because he's saying, don't go back to Canada because I can't afford this and I need you to be my cash cow. So when it's going to take and look how long she held on to Natter, even though he was treating her like absolute garbage. So it could be years that she lets him dictate her entire life. And it could honestly get to a point where it's too late and she doesn't even make it back to Canada. Like that's pretty much how dire this situation is. Everything. Thank you for the super... Girly pop soundbite. Oh, you don't want that? <laughs> you don't want a girly pop soundbite? It pisses you off. Well, thank you everything for the super. I know I get kind of annoyed with girly pop too. What do you guys think? Watching Amber. 
all of the tongue smacks and then the girly pops and the quirky girls and ugh, it just gets a little annoying after a while. <laughs> I, I feel dainty. What does she say? I can eat like a small portion and feel like dainty. <laughs> Something like that, she said. <laughs> How do we feel the Kuwait arc is going to end? It's either going to end with like, or she's going to go back to Canada and they're going to break up, probably. I don't know, though. It's like, how long can they stay in this arrangement where there's no actual love there? But maybe Salah sees it as I could be single and go back to that like tiny studio and not having a great time, or I could just basically live the single life and have this woman fund my lifestyle. Um, we pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend on the internet, or married, sorry, <laughs> LOL. Right, married. Uh, <laughs> we pretend to be married on the internet, but I just live the single life anyway, but I also get this upgraded lifestyle. I guess it'll have to deal with It'll, it'll be like, how much of this can I, can he take? How much of her can he take before he decides that it's not worth it anymore? And he's just going to go back to that studio, you know? Or can he just take it forever? Yeah, Ashbury says forever. So can he handle living with her forever if it means having this upgraded lifestyle? You know? I mean, you see, like, it's not uncommon for people to get with rich partners. Not that Chantal's rich, <laughs> but to be in it for the money. You know what I mean? And I'm sure compared to, like, the GDP in Kuwait, like, how much you make in a year, she's making more than that. So she's doing... She's doing a lot better in Kuwait than she would be in Canada. Just put it like that. But they have the same issues we have in Kuwait where things are getting more expensive and the wages are not increasing. So they might look cheaper to us, but to them it's not because they're making less. So do you want to see what's going on? Should we do an update on Hungary and see what she's up to? I do know that she only posted one day this week. That was six days ago. Or no, it was 10 days ago that she wasn't posting. So I guess that was like a week ago. So as you guys know, Hungary is not doing very well right now. If you look on her community tab last week, she had a fever of 99.3. Well, 10 days ago, more than last week. No video this Wednesday, no excuse other than I just don't feel like it. Did I read that already? I can't remember. <laughs> Honestly, I can't remember because I know that she was sick. No, it was this one a month ago. Yeah. So a month ago, she had 102. I thought I read that already, but I didn't. She was sick last month. So what happens? And she already said this. Um, she gets a infection, an infection every month. And has this fever and it just happens um, almost every month. And she knows when it gets too bad, I need to go to the hospital. And sometimes it doesn't get that bad and she's able to just stay. So, oh, Jordy's live too. All of Girl World is live. <laughs> All right, let's check this out right now. See what's going on. Did Glitter and Lasers post anything? Hey, y'all. Um, <laughs> today, I decided to have pizza. I could get me a good pizza. Not going to lie. Although, I just had that last week. <laughs> I literally just had pizza on Saturday. That was my story. I told you guys about my story. How they gave me the wrong order. Um, and I didn't go for the the usual suspects i decided to try a place that i haven't tried before so we're gonna see how they do i got uh two salads and for some reason they gave me an extra large pizza 
I have no idea why. I was just going to get those two salads, you know, one for the next day even. But for some reason, they gave me a large pizza. So I had to eat it. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. I ordered like a medium pizza. Let me see. I got the seal. There. The bottom of girl world. Mm. Is Ooh. this the bottom of girl world? Oh my god. No. Okay. Okay, and I got two ranch. Oh my god. Candy's like the top of girl world. She's doing better than Foodie Beauty. <laughs> Rumor is Glitter is filming an episode of Below Deck right now. Not uh. Are you serious? That's tea. I will watch. I've watched a few episodes of that. It's entertaining. It's not really like a show that I would watch, but if Glitter was on it, I would definitely watch, but it's okay. It's entertaining. It's fine. Is that ranch? Not something I like love though. That's ranch. <laughs> wow. This is kind of sad. I always get like a little bit sad. It's very garlicky looking. What is on that? Is that like mozzarella? It's kind of almost yellow looking. Or no, anyway, what is it called? Awesome. Looks good to me. And this pizza is a, you had me at garlic pizza is the name of it. Is that just Let's like see. garlic? Oh, open up. <laughs> garlic. Garlic pizza. And I got extra cheese, of course. Did you guys see like the garlic bread going off on Yo Mama? That was like three weeks ago, I feel like by now. Ricotta cheese. Um, the big globs. And it has a chili crisp drizzle on it. I had a yeah, I think that glitter lives in Austin. Yeah. I have to have that put on the side, but they put it on there anyway. So we'll see if I enjoy it. Um, and the ricotta dollops okay, were extra. Yeah. Extra. And yeah, I can imagine. It's If you guys ever worked in a pizza place, you have to be, they want you to be like, precise with the cheese like don't give too much cheese unless they pay for it because the most expensive thing is the cheese so if you ever work at a pizza place you'll know they'll yell at you if you put too much cheese on there <laughs> and they didn't pay for extra also i got the confit garlic confit extra and what comes on the pizza let me see cheese is pricey what can, what can i say what can i say hold on I might have to go to the oh, receipt to see what's on. No, 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 not on the receipt. Uh, just click reorder so I can look. Okay, you had me at garlic, and this is the regular 14 inch. Um, oh my god. Just a 14 inch. Yeah, it's warm. It's not super hot, but it's warm. What's the medium at? Um, what's like the typical medium size? Like 10, 11. Uh, we start with a garlic parmesan base. I feel like large is 14, base. right? Add garlic oil. Sliced garlic, roasted garlic, Parmesan, mozzarella, That's a little bit and too top much it with garlic a spicy chili crisp and chili oil. Ooh, and of course, are you guys liking all that garlic? That's too much for me. Although, give me the garlic dip. For my garlic, I'll take the garlic dip, please. Of course, it's all on top of our heirloom sourdough crust. It's a spicy pie that bites back. Ooh. Yeah, they were strict with the cheese where you worked. Mm-hmm. Yup, gotta be two scoops for pepperoni, three scoops for cheese. Sounds about right. Ooh, I I'm really, really excited here. Oh, and to drink, I got liquid, liquid death. death. <clears throat> Which one is that, the tea? That's a little on the nose. Cause you know, <laughs> hey, and this is the- Girl, oh my gosh. She's just kind of like resigned herself to that at this point. The convicted melon flavor. But if you think about it, like she thinks I can't pay my bills unless I do these videos, but you're going to die. Oh, yeah. What do bills really matter And at it's that just point? sparkling water, but you know, but, it's going to have the, the convicted melon essence. But what would she do? I mean, where would she live, right? It's just such a mess. I feel so bad because I don't even know what to really tell her. I don't really know what to tell her because for her to get a job somewhere, it's basically impossible. Finding an at-home job that she could do that would pay her enough to afford her life probably isn't going to happen. Like, just being realistic. It's hard enough to find, like, an at-home job. But for her, like, no degree and, like, be able to make enough to afford her rent, I just don't 
think that exists. It's just such a bad situation. Yeah, like, what is she to do? Mm. Uh, not my favorite sparkling water, but I like the name. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to go for the LaCroix or the Bubblies. <laughs> yeah, I do think that she's... Um, you don't believe what she says, in my opinion. Food controls her. I, I think that's part of it. She's just doing the food because she does want to do the food. I think sometimes she doesn't want to do it in front of the camera because it does take more energy to sit there in front of the camera and put on a smiling face and eat the food and get the light and edit the video, you know, but yeah, she is harsh. She's not just doing this for the bills. She's also doing it because she likes to eat too. And I think sometimes she doesn't want to. Sometimes she does. Anyway. Um, oh, and I got garlic parmesan fries as well. Oh, they look good. The garlic parmesan in the house. Mm. Oh, and that's a tomato sauce. It's not ketchup. Mm. Mm. And I got more of the tomato sauces. And also the ranch. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna get a piece with all that chili crisp on it as well. So if I'm gonna get bit, I'm gonna get bit right up front. It's okay. a floppy pie. Yes, Ooh, exactly. it is. Yes, Alex. Yes, Alex. Exactly. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she could go back to adult work. I don't think she wants to do that. I don't think she really wants to do adult work, and that's work too. I mean, getting all posed up and getting all dolled up and using like the machines and whatnot. I don't know what kind of content exactly she would be doing. Yeah, and she's used to this lifestyle of eating and getting paid. Easy money. Once you get that easy money, like... It is pretty. It is pretty warm. It's hard for her to quit. Mm -hmm. she, she likes... Part of her likes doing this. I mean, come on. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh. oh, that is too much. Yukon pizza. Mwah. That is delicious. That is good. Mm. 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 I just can't look away. Like, it's such a train wreck. Mm. I've never tried that. Oh, God. And it dropped everywhere. Take notes, Chantal. Mm. I think Chantal should take notes because Candy knows what she's doing. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do it, at least do it right. I've never tried the chili crisp before. Did she put up like some sort of weight loss vlog this week or not? I do wonder. Um... I always forget her weight loss channel name. Um, I know it's Dark Star. There we go. I, I remembered it now. There we go. Okay, so she hasn't posted on the weight loss channel. She pretty much stopped. It's been a month since she's posted anything on the weight loss channel. That's kind of sad. But do you guys remember this? That was strange. Her playing with the Barbie dolls. Oh, that got her 1,000 views. All right, play with some Barbie dolls, girl. <laughs> okay, we're not going to watch that, but... <laughs> Do you guys remember that? I thought that was really interesting. I couldn't believe it. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, should we do our, like, usual where we skip to the end and see what happens? There at the end. She usually has something more to say at the end. Oh, my goodness. She's so, like, out of breath. Like, that was almost a workout for her. Okay. Tell y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this stuff over here. And the, Do you like the licking and the sucking? And the ranch. Mm. Hi, always a Chevy Silverado girl. And I'm going to save the rest of this pizza for 
I say dinner. <laughs> I say dinner. We don't know. She's going to save that for dinner. Is she closed? Come on now. So she had half of the pizza. Goody, goody gumdrops. Come on. Interesting isn't the right word. You don't think. problem. There we go. Yeah. Whew. Those boxes. I am full for the moment. I will be eating that later. I used to, when I worked at a pizza place, when the customer was like annoying or causing trouble or just being rude, I would like barely cut their pizza. So, so if you just like run the cutter through it, it looks like it's cut, but you can't get it apart and it's so annoying. So I would do that to them on purpose. Like, don't be fucking rude. So more than likely, and <laughs> can't say one way or another I could eat this later maybe save it for tomorrow who knows uh, I have cake <laughs> for later <laughs> so what's her cake more than likely I'll just what be kind eating of this cake? for dinner Whew. I might snatch another piece who knows anyway you guys dang Yukon pizza you know, I, want another, I want another frog get him Alex right it's like I tried to cut it <laughs> can't help it Mm. So, you guys, new pizza place, new local pizza place. All right, should we try to find something different to watch? Um, delicious pizza. Maybe we could watch something from Glitter. I would highly recommend it for my pizza lovers out there. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for spending a time with me today. Look. Not a lot of conversation, just... Ooh, or we could try to see... I've been wanting to go back to the weight loss surgery vlogs and see what it was, like, what was the breadcrumb trail that Amber, did Narc Alert say, like, what was it that she was able to figure out who the weight loss surgeon was? Whole lot of pizza eaten. <laughs> I'm still, like, that's still anyway, a question for me. And I will see you next time. <laughs> and that's it. She didn't really have anything to say at the end. Got a fire pit. Glitter has a new swimsuit video, really? Is it the same one we watched last week or is it another one? I just couldn't believe the swimsuit video. Like the price of those swimsuits was like, what, $122 for a swimsuit? <laughs> I just can't with that. Did we talk about learning to be fearless pregnancy? Yes, we did talk about learning to be fearless on last week's live stream. Um, Sunday. Excuse me, Sunday night, we did talk about glitter. I mean, um, Alex Rodriguez having a baby. She did her first trimester vlog. I'm trying to find Anna's channel. It's not even coming up. Oh, okay. She did another like running video. I didn't see that one. And a swimsuit haul. But these are more affordable Amazon pieces. Yeah, Annie, newer, newer. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. Amazon plus size swimming. And my running journey. Which one do you guys think is better to look at? Which would you rather look at? Should we do a poll? running or swimsuits. I want to see this drama in regards to her being on below deck. Where did that come up? Let me try to Google that. Google me, baby. Google me, baby. Glitter and lasers below deck. Or if we could go on her Instagram or something. I wish we could watch like TikTok. That would be so nice to just be able to watch TikTok and not worry about getting like 10 different copyright strikes on the video from like 20 different artists. <laughs> What's going to happen to TikTok, guys? So we should talk about that really quickly. Did you guys see? So there's that whole... That whole situation type deal regarding TikTok, they're like pretty close to banning it and people are up in arms like the United States government is going to ban TikTok. 
maybe, or force a sale. So, hmm. I'm against it. Like, at first I didn't care because, like, I don't use TikTok that much. But then the more th- more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, we shouldn't ban TikTok. Just for, like, free speech aspect. Um, They can, like, what, look into it in regards to our information and stuff. But I don't think they should ban it. You think Meta is going to buy it? That would be like way too much of a monopoly, you know, for Meta to have Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. Well, nobody uses, who uses Facebook anymore? <laughs> Not me. Yeah, suppression of free speech. Mm-hmm. That's what it seems like to me at the end of the day. But if they do sell it, then it would be American owned. I don't know. I mean, I understand them, the mentality of like our information, but it just seems like all of our information is out there fucking anyway, you know, on the internet. I mean, you can literally look up somebody's address as long as you have their first and last name. Like, why did they do that? It's so stupid. Not meta. No. Yeah. No. I don't think Meta should buy it either. Like, I don't, I don't like Meta, but I like the Quest. I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's like the only cool thing that Meta is doing right now, in my opinion, is the Quest line and their VR stuff. Although some of their VR stuff is shit, but some of it's really good. But I hate Facebook. I barely use Instagram. But I heard that they were like force, they would be forcing a sale, but it would be not enough time. It's like an impossible situation. I don't know. You have to look it up. You worry about TikTok exploiting underage children. Yeah, I mean, that's a worry for all social media that you get paid on. I would say Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. I mean, the situation with like, family vloggers putting their children out there. And the same thing happens on TikTok. I know people that their whole account on TikTok is like about their kid pretty much. I don't know how to feel about that. And like people have this weird attachment to their kid. That's weird. <laughs> I If I was a parent, I would never want to put my child on my social media because people always have something to say too, right? That's part of it. First, I wouldn't want any like creeper, like saving pictures of my child or like being weird. But I also wouldn't want to listen to people having something to say about every little thing that you do. Like if you give your child like a slice of pizza, everybody's got something to say, you know, something like that. All right, glitter. People want to watch the swimsuits video. Okay. Let's watch like a little bit of that. It was it was like 50-50. So let's watch like a little bit of that. Let's like go back and forth. That could be more interesting. I am so excited today, guys. Oopsie. Oops, baby. I do want to know what's going on with Kind of Good, Kind of Bad. Like, where are they? Last she had an illness. Last we seen of Kind of Good, Kind of Bad. She had an illness. Hey, everyone. I'm sorry. I was unable to do anything this week. I came down with an illness two months ago. Mm-mm-mm. Beck is like always sick. You know why? Because it is the first swim haul of 2024. And swim is... What? We just watched one last week. <laughs> How is this the first swim haul? She must have filmed this one first. Is this old content, girl? Are you bamboozling us like Amber Lynn? Literally my favorite because I love the water and I just love getting a good tan, but obviously with sunscreen. Now, this haul is super affordable swimsuits. We've got everything. Obviously with sunscreen. I could see her getting a wicked sunburn. 
everything from bikinis to tankinis to one-piece suits for plus size and curvy ladies, as well as some that are available in all sizes. And these suits are from Amazon. Let's get so into it. So here's her, uh, her, uh, what's his name? Bezos. Her Bezos haul. <laughs> I kind of miss Pete's Jeff Bezos rage streams. Now those were fun. Not gonna lie, those were fun. Beck has a pretty girlfriend. Yeah, she does. We looked at um, we looked at the girlfriend in the beginning of the stream. So our first suit is giving major tropical vibes, and it's this really cool Hawaiian print with hot pink accents. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna see a lot of hot pink in this haul, and that's because I'm not over hot pink. Okay, what do you guys think about that one? Do you like it? <laughs> oh yeah, in regards to TikTok. Yeah, it is such a like business tool for a lot of people. Like they run their entire business on the TikTok. And I do feel bad for those people. Like I said, I don't want it to be banned. I feel bad for those people that would like lose their whole livelihood if TikTok was taken down and maybe not like they're losing all of their promotion. And it's not a guarantee that people would move over to your Instagram or your YouTube channel or wherever. Starglow, welcome to Sugars. Welcome. And there is a lot of people that are like super popular on TikTok, but on YouTube, like they haven't built the audience over there. And if their TikTok gets yanked away before they can even plug their YouTube, that's going to be an issue. That's going to suck. That would suck. I love it. I think it's a great color. And I love that the Barbie movie kind of brought it into our lives. Everybody <laughs> accepted it. And now I can be like recklessly wild in the amount of pink suits I own because it looks good on me. Why Barbie is what brought pink back. Is that for real? <laughs> I just thought pink was always the tea. The pink girlies. Wouldn't I want to wear a color that looks great on me? So there's a couple things about this suit. It may or may not work for me. And I'm very aware of What's that. What's wrong but with I think that? We're trying this together. This is a journey we're taking together. And so I feel like that's a cute suit. Like, I don't know how I feel about it for her. Sometimes it's important I try things that are a little scary for me. Here's some things that make me nervous about this suit. Stepping out of her comfort zone. TikTok is a gateway to YouTube shorts equals money youtube shorts like does not pay much money at all i think i got like ten thousand views on a youtube short and it made 15 cents <laughs> like i know for short content ten thousand views isn't a lot but yeah that's about how much you make 15 cents on 10k this has this pink accent around the waist it's either gonna look super cute on or it's gonna look weird we'll find out well actually you can see in the side by side right now how that works all right let's try the running video oop not the bar playing with barbie dolls video <laughs> let's go back and forth i feel like that could keep it interesting maybe i don't know again as i always say i'm just constantly surprised at what i'm capable of when i Oh, she's back at the run lab crying. Put myself in the situation to try. We're gonna fix your walk as well. Not just make you a good runner, but make you a good walker. This just gives me hope that there's like still so much more. Cause Glitter and lasers, that little Texan girl that be crying. Sometimes you wonder like, okay, I've been at this for a year, which I know technically a year is not a long time, but like it feels like a long time. Yeah. And I think this is just coming at the perfect time for me to like just keep moving forward because this does, especially getting on that treadmill, uh, feels a little bit impossible. It's so emotional. Why does this feel like she's gearing up for some sort of TV show? I feel like she should replace... Is my big, fat, fabulous life still on or no? But I think that TLC should look into getting her, like, a version of my big, fat, fabulous life. What do y'all think? <laughs> is she not train wreck enough? <laughs> So today we're back at Run Lab. As you guys know, for like the past couple weeks, I've been doing my PT literally everywhere. She's full of crap and lies. Disney. It's all just, it's very grifty to me. That's why everything that she does comes off so disingenuous because it's all, like there's a coupon code on everything. <laughs> Tracy's house 
anywhere I could. And now we're gonna see what effect it's had. We're also gonna go shopping for shoes that are- And it's been a long ass time since she sat down and just like talked about where she's at. I know that she posts those videos like once a year. Where's the 2024 version, girl? Just sit down and talk about where you're at. Like this is fake. Best fit to support me as I work on those changes and how I walk and also as I start to run. So today is kind of a big day. I'm gonna know really for the first time in my life from a doctor what shoes mm, I need to be rocking to, you know, keep rocking without injuring myself. Okay, she has to get like special shoes. That's where we're at. <laughs> Everybody should get like special like shoes though. I should. I want to go to like a what are they called? Like the shoe, the right fit. It's called the right fit. They help you get. But they're all like um they're just plain white or black shoes with like velcro. <laughs> velcro, girl. The grandma shoes, velcro. You just had air fryer roasted chicken thighs and a Caesar salad. That sounds good. I love my air fryer. You can make like anything in there. I made those cinnamon rolls. You guys know like the Pillsbury quote unquote cinnamon rolls. They're not cinnamon rolls. They're literally biscuits with like hints of cinnamon in them. No roll to be found. And on the, it's false advertising. On the front of it, it shows a cinnamon roll like you would buy at the mall. It's just a biscuit. It's false advertising. I'm going to court. But I will tell you cool things. My knee is no longer hurt and my ankle no longer hurts. So this is all magical for me. Let's go. So I'm going to go through all three <laughs> views. Okay. okay. There is four, but for the sake of the left side being the problem child, we're going to focus. Wait, what has red 40? The cinnamon rolls have red 40. There's nothing red in it. I'll have to check on that. It's weird. I know the left side is the problem child. I can tell now. When we are running, you actually do a very good job keeping your leg underneath yourself. Similar to what I said you did with the walk where you kind of posted. Yeah. You're unlocked, but you keep <laughs> it there. Like, what is this girl? And you don't actually absorb and coil down. Like if you were going to. Is she trying to like sell this as a service to somebody else? Like I'm trying to look in the it's a very long description that she's got going on here. If you are at the phase where you want to run or just improve your mobility and joint health and are looking to get analysis or physical therapy, looking for a gait analysis or physical therapy, I cannot recommend Run Lab Austin more. It sounded like she was saying, I cannot recommend them anymore. So that's what it is for this Run Lab Austin. Pretty much. She wants, she's trying to get people to go there. I guess it's kind of a win-win for her. I mean, she gets content. They get, I can't really see people wanting to go here <laughs> because they see her video. But what do you guys think? Let's see a swimsuit. Let's go to the next suit. Another pink suit. Okay. And of course, these are all in the description box. <laughs> Is it an ad for Run Lab? Kind of. Yes. I wonder if they paid her and how much. By the way, but I obviously had to do the pink. So, I mean, I'm going to say that they definitely paid or this whole thing was free. One or the other. Either she got the whole consultation for free or they actually paid her. It is or a two-tone hot pink. So we have the standard hot pink and then this would be like a magenta ishy hot pink. It's got kind of like a sportier tank top feel with adjustable straps. And the bottom mimics that same design, having a little kind of patchwork light pink and that hot magenta. I think this is super cute. I tend to like more sporty suits and that's because when I'm in the- <laughs> Do you guys like that one? She likes a good sporty suit. Water, I like to do a lot of Sporty activities. spice. I don't know if I want to watch the swimsuit one, guys. Sorry if you were really looking forward to it, but I just can't watch any more of it. Let's watch the running one. It was like 50-50. <laughs> Jump. Free consultation, most likely. You just use your ankle. So if we ever, ever watched the Olympics for speed walking, you technically do a double stance. 
They assessed her reach based on sub count and not views. Yeah, she seems to do well with the shorts. Like when you get, I've said this before like a dozen times, but when you get your views from YouTube shorts, it doesn't really translate. Or sorry, when you get your subscribers from YouTube shorts, it doesn't really translate to your videos. She needs a cover up. She has like 20 cover ups. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she has a cover up like at the end of this one. No? Yes? No? No. Hmm. Huh. In the other one she did. So I'm technically just walking. You are super speed walking. Look at me super speed. I'm the fastest walker. There has Wait, did they just tell her that she's not running? She's speed walking? <laughs> Is that for real? That's kind of hilarious. Actually, you're just walking. No, I'm not. But and there is nothing wrong with that. Is that. So that's not jogging or running? Technically, no. Okay, I have never <laughs> run or jogged. Now, I have also have a inclination that you were not very comfortable on the trip. Okay, that was actually worth it. <laughs> just to hear that. <laughs> you're not walking. I can't. I mean, you're not no, running. I hate the treadmill. So I have a feeling you're not you on the verge of a jog, like on the regular rip. So I thought I was going to learn that I've never run in my life, but what I actually learned today is that I've never jogged either, or may not have jogged. We're about to find out if I actually can jog, so... Are you kidding? Let's find out together. First, Dr. Ronan had me show him my walk, and also show him the progress I'd made using the PT exercises I had been doing since... Right, she doesn't even run. ...our last visit. So, I am super proud of you. You are not hyperextending your knees anymore. That's great. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, what Casey's going to polish with you is, at least this is for the walk, okay? Mm -hmm. You've reduced your stride. Kick butt. Love it. But you're kind of back like this, like, what's up, guys? I'm cool. And you're here. Okay. <laughs> that guy's kind of goofy. I was just walking really fast. You have. You have a moment. What about all the videos of her running now? I was like, <laughs> it was just like delusion the whole time. You officially jumped. I can't. The trail girl. She owes the trail lady a big apology. We want to be a little bit more joggy. <laughs> right? But I do it. But you do it. She's you learning how to run. Where you have one foot off and one foot off. Okay. You got to walk before you can run. You got to super speed walk before you can run. Okay. That is where we want to keep you. We don't want the crazy. I'm kind of dead. Tough. That's not necessary. And very. I skipped the best line. Really? What was it? Offensive, like, hey, I'm coming at you. Like, okay. I own this place. I want a little bit more lean. We'll oh, God, back. that feels so weird. Because you like is it that? A in my car. <laughs> oh, I did. I guess I did miss the best line. Lean. Oh, God, that feels so weird. Because you like not like a, a diaper in my car. <laughs> Next, Dr. Roden. I feel like I have a diaper in my butt. I run outside. This was so we could see if I could actually jog or if I was just walking really fast. You a have, diaper in my butt. You have a moment. You I was like, <laughs> you officially jog. Okay. We want to be. She's officially jogged, guys, for the first time in her life. We are witnessing history here. We are witnessing history. Be a little bit more joggy. <laughs> right? But I do it. But you do it. You have a moment where you have one foot off and one foot off. Okay. Okay. That is where we want to keep you. Okay. Is there anything more interesting in this? Shoe shopping. Let's see what that's about. She has a huge diaper. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking with a diaper in my butt. Why is she so popular? Don't ask me. I mean, she's mega popular over on the TikTok, guys. The YouTube, it's just her videos that don't really do that great. that we look at your structure so the way your bones are put together the things you can't yep. change about yourself yeah no thank you that was interesting programs and more um insurance programs supported this you don't think they should encourage her to run at all why because she's gonna hurt herself i guess if you're with professionals right but they don't really seem to be they're not professionals when it comes to like super morbidly obese people working out and running, 
they're professionals when it just comes to like running technique, but not like for super morbidly obese people. I don't know if it's one size fits all type of work, because if you move without pain, that's movement for life. I learned a lot about shoes today. I'm annoyed because because of my special combination of needs. There were not as many wild colors, but that's OK, because I'm going to get on the list for the wild colors. And then whenever they come in, I'm gonna I can't get even run. Shoes. I can't run at all. <laughs> I mean, I could if like someone was chasing after me with a knife or something, but realistically, no. Maybe I've never run. Maybe I've only super sped walk. But I feel more supported and that's the thing that's more important than how cute the shoes are. That looks like a nice store. Wait, this is old. This is from Christmas. You guys, look at that. Those are Christmas trees, right? Yes. This is from December. Okay, so I've got all my shoes now and I definitely feel more prepared to run, to walk. And even Why did she decide to put this up so late? I mean, it's March 18th is when she posted it. December, three and a half months. You waited to post this video, why? A lift, like I <laughs> was definitely lifting probably with the wrong shoes. Also found out the shoes I did have were just not good anymore. Um, I think if anything, this whole experience has taught me one thing. And that one thing that I've learned is really that doing anything hard in your life takes preparation. But I just wanted to say she wore the wrong shoes. <laughs> Amber needs to go to this place, not the running clinic, but the shoe place. <laughs> so she can find some actual shoes that she can walk in instead of ballet flats, girl. It also takes people who believe in you. And so the more I go on this journey, the more I realize I'm not doing it alone. Uh, today, when I talked about wanting to run a 5K, the first thing that the team at Run Lab said was like, we're going to run it with you. And I think that's that's how you do big things, guys. They're going to run a 5K. Oh, yeah, she did end up running that 5K. Or I don't know if she really ran. She didn't. But last week, we discussed that she ran this 5K or was in this 5K. And she she came in last in her age bracket. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was, it said like 22 out of 22 in her age bracket. Overall, she was like, I think fifth from last, fourth or fifth from last. <laughs> With people who believe in you. And I think as At a least first she step in any changes of your life, that first best first step is to find people. Who I mean, you have to, you have to cross the finish line to get placed at all, right? Believe in you. Because I think it, it does really make all the difference. She did it, folks. Oh, there's more? This is like a whole little series for her. Is she trying to like shop this around? That's kind of got the vibe that I get. She's shopping this around, guys. She could be on TV. There she was in the woods. Is that where the lady got her? You're doing amazing, sweetie. What if they were just like, oh, wow, for a person your size, you're doing really well. <laughs> I would say that's rude and, and not right, but <laughs> I'm sure that would really get under her skin. She came last, but didn't lose. She'd lose if she didn't do it at all. Very true. Very true. I'm like surprised she actually crossed the finish line. And that is something for her to be proud of at the end of the day. Regardless of how annoying she can be and how most things seem kind of fake. But she had her results posted up. What if the results were fake? Mm, they were like too bad to be fake. <laughs> I feel like that's too bad to be fake. What was ALR? Should we talk about some ALR drama? Okay. Does anyone know? So how the heck did the narc alert find this weight loss doctor? Because Amber said, and it's hard to take anything that Amber says at face value, right? I mean, she even admits that she, when it came to the weight loss doctor specifically, she lied about literally almost everything because she wanted to throw people off of the trail so Amber said that NARC said that um, she found her weight loss doctor because 
Amber said they were the only people in the state that had two machines, like two robots that could do weight loss surgery. But that was after NARC had found out who the doctor was. So what was the breadcrumb that led her to Dr. Smith? You inbox the name of a new girl. What's her name? At least Anna seems to do stuff unlike ALR and foodie slash Miriam. That's a good point. I mean, Miriam literally just sits in the shit box all day and orders food. And maybe her husband will take her out to the mall for her to uh, film a clip walking in, but then not even show any of it. Anna travels the world like she gets out more than I do. Which <laughs> I do have to applaud that. She gets out a lot. She goes everywhere. But... Also, she has a lot of money and her parents are bankrolling a lot of this. I mean, trust and believe. I don't have that. I have to pay for everything I do myself, you know. Good for her, but I just don't have it like that, unfortunately. <laughs> I always used to be so jealous of the people like on Instagram posting like, just went to Europe for the week like in the middle of the year, like random January, they just like decided to pack up and go to Europe. I want to do that. Look up Lauren Burkhart. She has the clips in her video. The clips of what? Oh yeah, Lauren. Oh yeah, Lauren, Lauren. I, I know Lauren. You mean the narc alert video? Yeah, I already looked at this, but it didn't say... It wasn't um, the answer that I wanted. <laughs> it was just narc alert. Kind of, uh, it was just the initial clip of her talking about it with kicking geese on the side. Who's Beck's new girly pop? I'm not sure. We got a picture, but even if I knew her name, I wouldn't say her name because really... Um, She's not on the YouTubies, but I mean, Becky is a public figure or Beck is a public figure. I mean, she has 70,000 subscribers. Of course, she's a public figure. And I just wonder if Becky will ever come back. I mean, she has pretty much decided to stay off of the YouTube. And I think it's because of like the drama surrounding Amber Lynn. I think a lot of the time she doesn't want to discuss Amber Lynn, but she knows that that's where her following came from and it's going to come up and it's just part of who she is here on the YouTube. I mean, no one would know who she was unless it was for Amber Lynn. And I think she just doesn't want to talk about Amber Lynn at all, but that's pretty much impossible when it comes to her channel. Becky Lynn Spears. <laughs> Why Becky Lynn Spears? Anyone saying anything bad about Beck's new girlfriend is literally just a hater. What would be wrong with her, Momo? I thought she was pretty cute. She's like alternative. She reminds me of like a skinny Saji is what I said in the beginning of the live stream. <laughs> kind of. Um, But... I would like to see them together just because it would make Amber like her blood boil. <laughs> Becky could make some really good um, vlogs and stuff. Maybe do a video Q&A with me and my girlfriend. Meet my girlfriend. People would watch that. People would definitely watch that. Maybe once Snowflake does his episode on her, she'll come back. Yeah, maybe. I feel like wasn't Becky? No. I believe Beck said that she was going to do an interview or she would do an interview with Snowflake, but then Snowflake said that he didn't want to do an interview with Becky. Is that how that went? I don't know. Something like that. Are my eyes back to 100%? Um, they're like 95. <laughs> I can see really good with my contacts and stuff. It's still the same, but when I take them out, um, it's like about 90% when I'm wearing glasses. But I can blink and like, if I stare at the screen for too long, by the end of the day, they'll be dry and blurry. But when I wake up, I'm good. 
I just don't like, I have nothing else to do but look at a screen. I don't know. I have no hobbies. <laughs> I can read a book, but I mean, I do read books. Not all the time. Can I show Becky's girlfriend again? Yeah, sure. If you guys want to see the T, 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 T. She looks cute. And she's got, I mean, she's working with, she's showing what she's working with, if you know what I mean. Should we analyze? So she's got like half green on the one side, kind of like that half and half split. Makeup done, all cute. Beck's over there looking happier than normal. I don't know how new of a picture that is. Try a puzzle, Legos. Yeah, I do really like Legos, but you know what? <laughs> I always watch something while I'm doing it. Mm, 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 mm. You know what? I could always just listen to something while I do the Legos instead of watch something. Um, Iron Flame. No, I've read like, quote unquote, read. I've listened to half of the first one, Fourth Wing. But I was listening to the dramatized, re the dramatized version. So like, I only heard half of it. And then you have to pay for the other half separately. So... Yeah, I might do that. I might not. I don't know. I wasn't like super enthralled with it. I did like it, but I do kind of want to hear the end. But um, I still have like an hour left of the first half. But I'm pretty much done. Beck is in a feeder. Destiny cannot say the same. I fear you think so. So Destiny is a feeder. Whatever happened with our girl, Destiny? You know, there's been a lot of girls, like, coming through and leaving. And the only constants that we have had in Girl World has been Amberlynn and Chantal. I mean, there's been other girls, like Amy's Life Journey. Um, now we have Glitter and Lasers, Hungry, Fat Chick. But, I mean, just last year, people weren't weren't really talking about Glitter and Lasers. Um, they were hungry a little bit. Hungry's kind of always been a minor character in the community. I mean, she's more prominent now than she was, but she, um, I feel like, has, has been a part of the community in a way for a few years now. Yeah, because Nick Akato, there was a time where Nick Akato was like, talked about in this community all the time, but now not so much because he doesn't really do anything. Anything different, at least. You miss Amy and her cups. I've been thinking, like, I, I want to do a video on Amy's life journey and just call it, like, where in the world is Amy's life journey or what happened to Amy's life journey or something like that. And just kind of give the lowdown. Maybe do, like, just a, just, like, who is Amy's life journey, something like that. Just something to talk about for a day <laughs> for those. Because there's a lot of people that don't even know who Amy's life journey is. And why people would compare her to Chantal now, because um, she is Muslim, but she she's also a revert or convert. She went over to Egypt, and her man's from Egypt. But she brought him over to the States instead of the other way around, like Chantal's. So Chantal went over to the Middle East while Amy took her man to the U.S., I believe they just met online or something. Um, that was her soulmate. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> he still makes fan art. Uh, he still makes fun of ALR in Orland's videos. Yeah. Yeah, he makes fun of ALR Nick Akato still, like, all the time. Tammy Lemon, where did she go? Yeah, she was one of the ones that came and left like Amy's life journey. She didn't really reach like prominence, but you know, Chikara talked about her. I talked about her and I did enjoy her videos. They were boring sometimes, not going to lie, but there was something about her that was more relatable and 
um, this is Tammy Lemon. There was something about her that was more relatable and just down to earth. Way more than like ALR where she's acting like she's better than everybody else. And it's clear as day that <laughs> that's just not the case. I mean, she's just a narcissist, right? So Tammy was nice. She was nice. And I liked watching her videos. She was a lot more honest about everything. And some people would think like some of her videos, like should she have posted that where she's eating 4,200 calories? But what is that one? Did you guys see this one? 4,200 calories. That's a lot. That's kind of intriguing to me. <laughs> 4,200, like... Is she for real, for real? I have this weird glitch where I have to like refresh my page because it's too small. Because the the player is too small and then you refresh it and it's bigger. Oh, there's her cat. Her cat is so cute. I think that um, Tammy posted on Instagram, but that was a long time ago. I want to see what she ate. Does she show like what she ate at the end of the video? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's watch that part. Who eats 4,200 calories? Um, apparently Tammy. So let's get into it. So for breakfast, I had my breakfast shake and it's something that I really like. You have seen me make it like I, I just don't think if you're trying to lose weight, you should start the day with 450 calorie, like supplement shake. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe I'm off base on that, but I just feel like it's too much. I mean, people use those to move up a weight class. I have seen like people who are terminally ill and can barely eat will eat these like shakes like this or drink these shakes like this know how many times by now recently though i have been mixing it up a little bit by adding some chocolate powder like not really chocolate powder but but yeah for me on my weight loss journey i would never i would never have one of those chocolate flavored meal replacement powder instead of like the banana flavor that i normally use and that's what i had for breakfast then for lunch i had lunch pretty late so for lunch i had this bun with some tuna salad some i'm not gonna lie that looks pretty good doesn't it <laughs> nice sandwich Lettuce, just iceberg lettuce, some tomato, and that was it. And then for... Yeah, for muscle regrowth. Yeah, if you're, like, working out all day and you need, like, all the protein and stuff, I can understand that. But if you're trying to lose, like, just fat and you already have a problem with excess calories, it just doesn't make sense for me. Why wouldn't you just have, like, a steak or something for the protein? Because that shake's not going to fill you up. Those look good. A snack, I called it like my uh, lunch desserts, but yeah, obviously I don't have desserts after lunch. I like seeing food in other countries. So she lives in the Netherlands. So I'm sure they got some pretty good food over there. But for a snack, I had this stroopwafel, which is a Dutch delicacy. If you ever mm. visit the Netherlands, this is definitely something that you should try. I'm gonna they get do one. sell it in just like <laughs> grocery stores, supermarkets and stuff, but fresh ones, they are just on a whole other level. So it Oh, it's kind of like a uh, waffly. Mm. Stoop waffles, those are good. I want one. Maybe they have them near me. Um, there's a thing called like Pennsylvania Dutch, but I think they're German, not Netherlands. I know Dutch is Netherlands, but Pennsylvania Dutch is like German. Maybe it's and and uh, the Netherlands too. I don't know. This place looks cool. If you are able, definitely try these. They're mostly sold at markets and stuff. That guy looks kind of cute, right? Then later that Wood. afternoon, I had a second snack. So this is a pastry. I had half of one of these things. It's not my most favorite pastry, but I really did enjoy it. It was a while since. She had half of that. That's big. You can find them at a lot of places like in gas stations. Mm. I doubt the gas station is that good. I'm pretty sure I had like one of those, like, but hard. Yeah, the grocery store, like hard ones. But I want a nice, like soft one. Yeah, P8 Dutch is German. Yeah. Amish. Not all Amish. Or, I mean, a lot of people, they might still be, uh, yeah, Dutch isn't German. Yeah, I know Dutch isn't German, but Pennsylvania Dutch is German. I don't know. It's weird. Like, 
you could look it up or don't it doesn't matter <laughs> they're also kind of like a lot of uh amish are pennsylvania dutch but not all pennsylvania dutch are amish um because a lot of people will leave the order and then maybe they left like maybe their family left like a hundred years ago i was just thinking that about that today like what if a few generations ago my family was Amish. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. That's just, that's the area I live in. <laughs> because my grandma is like German or Dutch or something like that. So I feel like she might have been uh, Amish like a few generations ago. Their last name was like Workman or something. That just sounds Amish, right? Workman. Because I remember going to a family reunion and it was like the workmen's. That's so Amish. I had one of these or well, half of one of these. And then I ended my day with my dinner. So when I got home, I ordered in some food. So I had. A or that's definitely like workmen is definitely like one of those names where you came over from Germany during the um, was it Ellis Island? Yeah, like Ellis Island days. This is probably my ancestors. They came over from Germany and they just gave them that, like they had some random German last name and they gave them um, workmen as their name, their new name. Yes, yeah, Stoltzfus. Stoltzfus is so um, Amish. Is Amish an ethnicity? No, it's like a religion. I mean, uh, Amish people will, re will um, adopt kids sometimes so you could be like any race and be Amish but I, they're mostly white German people German ancestry mostly menu and with the menu you can order a drink instead of a drink I had a milkshake so this is a tiniest one that they sell over here and I would say that this small size is pretty accurate also for like but I don't know if you guys watched like breaking Amish and the one girl was like from Guatemala, like she was Guatemalan and she was adopted into Amish family. Other fast food places. And I'm pretty curious because I've heard that overseas, like even the smallest drinks are pretty big. And so I was wondering like, if you are from overseas, please let me know because I'm wondering now. They so are. I had a milkshake. <laughs> yeah, that would be like an extra small <laughs> in the US. Like, even a small, I remember, like, what is it, Wendy's? A, a medium drink from Wendy's is, like, this big. It's ginormous. Then I had two types of snacks. I ordered some bitterballe, which yep, is yoder. just this, like, deep-fried snack with some minced meat inside. It's not really... I knew, like, I went to school with a couple yoders, but they were um, English people. That's what the Amish call, like, non-Amish English people. Uh, yeah, the English, they were English, but probably if you trace their ancestry back, probably Amish. Like minced meat. It's just a mix of like meat and I, I, I don't know what's in it, but it tastes good. So I had that with some mayonnaise or well, it's not. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of, <laughs> it's giving like Chantal. You've heard a lot of horror stories about the Amish. Oh yeah. It's, it's very much like if something happens to you and you're a woman they want you to keep quiet. That's very much the mentality. Um, and there is that aspect of like face, like saving face, because it's very, you know, if you like committed adultery, you would be excommunicated and no one, you would be shunned and no one would talk to you. And if they did talk to you, they would get in trouble for talking to you um, and perhaps disciplined and excommunicated themselves. So it's very much like if something happens, they will pressure you like not to say anything at all, which is not good. And I did see there was this YouTuber that's ex Amish. He set up a website that had resources for Amish women or anybody, anybody, not just women, but specifically focused more on Amish women because they're the most vulnerable and they could kind of get them out and help them like set up if they were in some sort of abusive situation, because imagine if you were stuck with an abusive husband and you were Amish, how would you get out of that? It would be very difficult, very difficult. 
some. It's actually quite a lot of mayo and I did not finish it all, but I did dip my snacks in. Then for another snack, I had this thing and there's cheese in the middle. And um, I did not order the bun, but it came. What is that? Peanut sauce? With a bun. So I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure and what I that ended is. up just eating the bun, but normally I just, you know, like to eat it by itself. Then. Yeah, there's the puppy mills. Mm hmm. Yeah, there is a there is Amish puppy mills. I believe. Did you guys see George Santos stole a dog? <laughs> he stole a dog from a Amish puppy mill in Pennsylvania, like probably somewhere near where I live. That was one of his char or one of the I don't know if he was ever charged for it, but one of his scandals, one of his many scandals. I had a fry. This is the smallest one that they Rum sold, Springer. but it's still pretty big. And also it might look a little wonky, but this is like fresh cut up potatoes and then fried. So it's fresh fries. I really enjoyed them. And I also had a burger. It was called a nacho burger. And um, yeah, this is what the burger itself looks like. And it came obviously with some nachos. And with the nachos. That, those nachos don't look very good, huh? Is Tammy back? No. <laughs> no, we just wanted to watch like the last five minutes of her video to see the what I ate today part. I don't know why. I On just the burger itself, there were also like uh, three or four nachos, so that was pretty funny. It tasted I never saw really it. good, but as you can see, for me, this is not what I normally would eat. It's pretty... Oh, yeah, because this is her 4,200 calorie day. Big for what I'm used to as a dinner. If I would have a day where I allow myself to have a dinner like this, but I still want to, you know, keep track of everything, I would probably have chosen just a low-calorie drink, so not a milkshake. The fries is... So that's um about three meals, right? from one restaurant. So she has this one with the side and then this one and then this one and then a milkshake. It's a lot. That's gotta be like 2000 calories just right there. Have I ever been interested in true crime? Um, Sometimes I'll watch like a documentary here and there. I watched the one on Max about this like, oh no, but it was like fake. It was a small town, there was this story about how they would take kids to this house and it was this weird club. Maybe you guys remember this on Max and they would teach them things, but then it came out that it wasn't, it didn't actually happen and they were coached to like lie to get these other people in trouble so that it would throw them off the trail of this other woman. I think that's how it went. Did you guys see that one? Did that make any sense? <laughs> it was a really good one on Max okay the sauce with it is okay you know you do have to live a little now and then but then i would have chosen for just two snacks or one burger and not the burger and the snacks and also not the nachos with it but like i could do a milkshake right now does five guys have milkshakes i wanted those fries those cajun fries so bad right fast food is so expensive now I did, I did watch Quiet he On said, Set. This day, I treated it as a cheat Let's day, and this that. was everything that I ate. So, another voiceover, but I did not film an outdoor clip, and I did want to say goodbye to you, so thank you so much for watching. Okay, that was everything that she ate that day, 4,200 calories. That was interesting. I never saw that one. But yeah, I did want to talk about Quiet On Set. Did you guys see that? That was wild. So that just premiered this week on... Um, Max, right? Which it was like the story of what was going on at Nickelodeon during their peak. And Drake Bell came out. There was that whole situation with Drake Bell. It was really sad, but... I don't know why I said but, but it was really sad. And it was just... Thinking back to when I was watching those TV shows, like, I had no idea. Like, you you thought as a kid that they were living the dream, these Nickelodeon child actors. But really, there was so much systematic abuse going on. Dan did it. Dan did what? I do think that Dan is especially a creep, and I saw that one of the Zoe 101 cast members... <clears throat> One of the Zoe 101 cast members, the mom, came out 
and was like defending Dan. This was just yesterday saying that he had like nothing to do with this and he was such a good guy. But I don't believe that for one second. I mean, he's the one that put out those clips of Ariana Grande where she is like pouring water on herself and he orchestrated like all these little weird adult jokes into these children's shows. I mean, that was all him. So who knows what he was doing behind the scenes. I don't think it was anything good. That's for damn sure. But yeah, Brian Peck was the worst one for sure. And to think he was on there, like, because I watched the Amanda show all the time. So to think I was sitting there like watching this pickle boy while behind the scenes, he was doing those things. It's just so sick to think about now. Like my childhood is ruined. <laughs> I will never watch the Amanda show again. I remember my friend had an Amanda show DVD and we watched it when we were smoking. This was like, this was like 10 years ago, but I could never watch that show now just because of how sick behind the scenes it is. And, but when that was on and I was a kid, I loved it. Yeah, that's a really good point, Ali. Some, it's possible that someone was paid. Mm -hmm. A victim of Dan allegedly could have been paid, possibly, to not come out and talk about him or even the other guy. And so this guy was like, Brian Peck was like a really disgusting, he R-worded children. Or we know of a, a child we know of. And there was all of these actors and actresses that came out to support him and write letters of support that he was such a good guy. Like, did they know? One of them was James Marsden, as well as the brother, the big brother from Boy Meets World, the actor that plays him. And they came out saying like he was such a good, he's such a good guy and just sticking up for his character. Ugh. Did they like know what he was being charged with? Like what the fuck? I don't get it. Amanda Bynes was not okay. Or you mean like she's not okay now? I don't think she's okay now, but I remember Amanda in 2013 um, had this whole episode and it was really sad and it definitely makes you wonder what she was going through. Is there, so there's this rumor that Dan impregnated Amanda Bynes at 13 and she had an abortion. Where did you hear that, Lydia? I did hear that before. That wasn't the first time I heard that, but Amanda's never came out and spoken about anything. Oh, really? She insulted Shakara? I didn't see that. Never stand up for anyone, right? Well, anyone in that position, right? Where they're doing that. Like, how could you? How could you? And the way that they wrote the letters, they wrote these letters putting blame on the victim, a 14, 15 year old boy. And you're putting the blame on him and saying that he tempted, like, you have to watch it, guys. Like, because they said that, like, they insinuated that Drake tempted this guy. Like, are you kidding? It was just, like, jaw-droppingly disgusting. I couldn't even believe it. All right, folks. I'm going to get off in a couple of minutes, but um, I guess I'll see you guys on Sunday. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I'm going to post a video tomorrow or not. I'm trying to up that. Uh, I do want to get back on my girl talk grind, grind out some scripts. They always blame the victim, right? I don't know how you can do that when it's a child. It's like 10 times worse, you know, because that's not even... No, like they don't even know. They don't even know this like life. It's just thrust upon them. That's the problem. Ugh. 
Amanda tweeted it a long time ago on Twitter. Did she? There was that time where she was talking about like everything on Twitter. Um, and she, all of that has been like scrubbed from the internet. But I remember her saying like about Drake that she wanted to hook up with Drake. <laughs> I remember that, but. All right, folks, especially chicken because they intimidate them. Oh, children. Sorry, I saw you said chick. I read that as chicken, but you said children. What should I eat? What should I eat, guys? Should I um, pick up the live stream in the car? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm like Amber Lynn right now. Like the stream. Yes, everybody like the stream on the way out. We're just wrapping up. Um, you seen her at Fitum? You did? You saw her at Fitum? Like for real? That's in New York City, right? Or no. Don't eat children. Taco Bell? No. I don't want Taco Bell. I don't really want fast food unless it's like premium fast food. No, it's in Los Angeles. I'm dumb. Duh, it's in Los Angeles. They were talking about it on um Fitum on um the hills or Laguna Beach. I want like premium fast food if I get fast food, which is five guys or like <laughs> the barbecue, that barbecue company. I forget what it's called. Um, hmm. Five girls, burgers and fries. I want to see what they have. Stop. You want Amanda to pass her test to become a nail tech? She's going to be a nail tech. Yes. I love that for her. Oh, shoot. Foodie was raging at Shannon. Do y'all want to watch that quick? Do we have time? Is it worth it? No. I'll wait till Friday. They just uploaded. I don't want to take their steam or anything. Let's wait till Sunday. Did I say wait till Friday? Girl, it is Friday. Have a great night, Alex. Thank you, Annie. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get something to eat. Thank you so much for dropping by. I'm like literally starving. Um, Thank you for dropping by. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the way out. Oh, let me get this super chat. Thank you. It's me, Jojo, for being a member for 18 months. OMG, live for my B-Day. I'm in London. Thank you, Jojo. Happy birthday. Have fun tonight. All right. She exposed some Shannon tea. Nice, nice. All right. I'm going to get something to eat. Thank you guys so much. Leave a like on the way out, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya on Sunday.